Hey y'all, welcome back, welcome if you're new, uh, this is Nails by Kimberly, I am, of course, Kimberly, I am a stay-at-home mom who loves everything nails, uh, just gel though, I don't do acrylic, just gel products. Uh, this week, I have a small Timu haul for you all, yes, another Timu haul, um, I'm starting to think I have a little bit of a problem, y'all. Seriously. I went on there looking for one thing, and of course, you know how Timu is. Is that, is Timu the one with the minimum purchase? I think it is. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I can't remember. But, uh, yeah, I saw a few more odds and ends. A couple, mm, kind of necessity things. So, I just, you know threw a few more things in my cart and it's not like I said it's not a big haul there is one part of it that's going to take a little bit to get through and I will save that thing for the end uh, but we'll just go ahead and get straight into it I'm gonna start out with the kind of boring stuff um, boring but necessary I got a pack of <clears throat> excuse me I got a pack of files just regular old files. Um, they are 180. Hang on, let me get these open. Okay, they are 180 nail sunshine. It says. Um, I usually work with 150, sometimes 100, but I try not to because I don't feel like you really need 100 grit file with gel. Um, these, I've never tried these before, but. You know, you always need something with a good sharp edge if you're going to be doing any kind of, uh, like French nails, sculpted French, where you have to file in the smile line or anything like that. And I, I got these, they caught my eye because they had the little, um, ruler on here. I, I don't know if I'll ever use that, but it'd be nice to have. It does say disinfectable washable wood file. I never... I feel like I never believed that. How could you disinfect something that's porous? I, I don't know. I don't. I don't understand that. Um, but yeah, there's. Um, I think it's supposed to be ten in here. And I just, you know, it's one of those necessary things uh, that we all have to have. So yeah. Uh, another thing I got is another pack of files. Let me get this one open. Um, same company, actually. I don't know if I noticed that when I was uh, buying these. But uh, these are supposed to be 10 pieces 240 grit. I thought, I don't know. Like I said, I usually deal with like uh, 150. I thought I would try 240, if nothing else, for nail prep. I thought it would be a little gentler on the natural nail. These are a little different than the previous ones, though. This is actually the kind of file I prefer. Um, I have several of these. It is the kind with the metal board, the center board. And then these are all like little stickers, basically. You peel off the back. I'm never going to be able to do it with glue. Oh, maybe I can. Um, you peel off the back. Stick it to here. You know, y'all have seen these, surely. Um, but, I just, I don't know. I thought I would try the 240 ones out and see how they do. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to let y'all know how they go. But, I can highly highly recommend these ones with the metal center boards wherever you get them from um i know like kirstie meekin has some really pretty ones that i'd love to get but you know uk to u.s shipping is not cheap so i tend to get these ones off of like um, aliexpress shein timu places like that um but they they're just good, a good file to have, I think. They, um, they also make, you can get buffers for them. I have one here. I've been using it, so please excuse the 
the um, oldness of it, but, um, and I really need to change out that side, but yeah, you can set them up however you want. They do make buffers that fit these two, and they are, you know, the same thing with the little sticker paper on the back, but um, I have found that once I started using these, man, you, you will never get like a straighter sidewall straighter free edge with that metal it just it's nice and like sturdy there's really not a, mon a lot of give to it so you're not gonna have to worry about if you if you struggle with keeping your sidewalls straight uh, this is what you want to get these are awesome Okay, so boring thing number next, whatever number we're on, three maybe. Uh, I got another one of these things. I know I've already showed one of these in a previous haul, but I've lost it. I've looked everywhere, and I cannot find it. It's one of these little grabber tools for the sponges. I cannot find the one that I bought before. I think I may have thrown, I, I, th I honestly think I may have accidentally thrown it away. In the bottom of a Timu bag. I didn't realize it was down in there. They're not, you know. This one's heavier than the last one I had. But they still don't have much weight to them. And they're not that big. So, yeah, I really, I think I threw the other one away. I must have. Either that or my dog packed it off. I don't know. She, she has a little treasure trove way up under the bed. It might be under there. I don't know. I didn't look. But, but yeah, these are just for, you know ombre basically but it's a good little tool couldn't find the one that I previously bought so this is my replacement I am putting it straight in my little cup over here to the side so I don't lose this one because that just I hate I mean that, well, it didn't cost that much but I hate buying something that I've already bought you know for just because I can't I can't find it or whatever so wasted money Okay, the next thing I've already, I've taken it all out of the tube off camera. I got another brush because, yes, I have a little problem with buying too many brushes. I am on the lookout for the perfect brush for gel. Um, the ones that I usually use, let me show you. The ones that I usually use, no, nope, that's not it. Look like this. And they have a small-ish head on them, but, um, I just, I, don't, I always feel like I pick up too much gel, and, uh, you know, anytime you, you're putting too much on your nail, then that's just something you're just gonna have to file back off again, it's a waste of time, it's a waste of product, it's a waste of money, it's a waste of energy filing it off, it's just a waste in many ways, so I'm always on the lookout for the perfect brush, and I found this one. I don't know. It's awful shiny. I don't know if y'all can see that. It says nail brush. Uh, it's, well, I think it's supposed to be omnipotent. But this looks like it's a Q. q -nipotent? I don't know. But this one's a little bigger than that last petal brush I bought that I thought would be good. And it, you know, it, it works okay. But I really want something that I can get into dual forms with. Like these Russian almond ones. Uh, sometimes with the smaller ones, I mean, this is a big one, but, you know, you really want to be able to have a brush that can get down into there, you know, and with the little ones for like the, your little finger, the smaller fingers, uh, you want, you know, you want a, a nice small brush and I might try and use it for sculpting too, or I mean, it's, I think what it's meant to be used as is like for hand painting. But you can use brushes for whatever you want to use them for. It doesn't have to be for, you know, the thing that they say that it's for. You can use it however you want to use it is the way I look at it. So, yeah, that's something else I'll have to report back to y'all and let you know. Um, it looks like it's a good size, though, so. 
Okay, so now a little bit more pretty kind of stuff. I found on uh, Pinterest, maybe, uh, a set of nails that are obviously AI, but I would like to try and recreate them. And I didn't have the things that they used for the decoration. I mean, I know it wasn't actual things. It was just a computer. But um, I knew I wouldn't be able to recreate that stuff by hand painting. So I was on the lookout for some decals. And these were perfect. Um, they... I thought these had these have kind of a metallic, I don't know, kind of shift to them. These are just regular, just color. But even if I don't use them for those AI recreation nails, they're still pretty little butterfly stickers, you know. And then I also got, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. Um, let me get it out of this pack and maybe find something to put behind it. Hang on, just give me a second here. Okay, so trusty paper towel. Let's see if I can make sure they're in shot. Okay, and these are kind of metallic-y. Um, and they will fit with that set that I'm wanting to do, I think, really well. More so the, like, leaf details. Uh, so yeah, uh, I, I think that they will actually work out really well for what I'm wanting to use them for, hopefully. I guess we'll find out if I ever get that video recorded, huh? <laughs> all right, let me get all this stuff out of the way and then we will get into the last item, which is a lot of items all in one, basically. Okay, so first of all, to go with this item, I got these. These are, they're called finger cots, basically, and it's basically just a little, I mean, it's like these gloves, but just for your finger. They're tiny little, you know, just protection for your fingers. I thought that, that would be better than having to get gloves out every time I want to use this stuff. Um, I got a 12 pack of 40, it says UV gel, it's sculpting gel basically. Um, it's colored gels to use like you would use acrylic to do 3D on top of a nail. I would really like to learn how to do that. I think it's a gorgeous look. And it's something that is uh, not really seen that much with gel, unless you have this stuff. Um, hang on, let me get all these out of this loud package, and then we'll we'll check them all out. Okay, so you get a twelve piece set. They give you a little brush. Goodness, a little brush. Oh, that's actually a nice shape. If y'all can see it. Let me break the starch out of it. Now that's actually not a bad shape. I don't have any of these little kind of brushes that actually are that shape. They're all either like square head or very slightly rounded. Like the ones you get with uh, Model 1 stuff, I always say. Um, it says it's a number 6. Yeah, number 6. I've tried that little brush out. I know I'd shown y'all in a previous haul I got this little pot and I'm pretty sure it was the same set. Like you can buy these individually whatever color you want or you can buy the whole set as one. So yeah it's the same that I bought before. I just want to I wanted to try this stuff out before I bought the whole thing. So, I've been playing with this one a little bit. I'm not getting too great yet, but I figured I'd go ahead and get the whole set. It wasn't a whole lot. Um, 
I don't know, maybe about 10 bucks, I want to say. I don't know. I'll put it on the screen how much it's selling for, but 12 colors. Um, I've got two whites now. And they're not individually sealed. I thought that they would be. I don't remember. I'd have to look back at the video when I open this up, but I don't I don't remember if that one was sealed or not. I, for some reason, I thought they would all have individual um, foil seals on them, but I guess this makes it easier for the purposes of the video. Um, yeah, they're they're soft, or that one is anyway. So we'll take a look at all these colors here. So there's white. This one. I'm hoping it's black. It shows kind of gray, but yeah, that's black. Okay, this one kind of looks brownish. Nude, maybe? I don't know. They do have numbers on the top. This is 005. White is 012. Black is 011. Yeah, like a nude color. I've seen, actually, you know, you look at that and you think, ugh, but I've seen some gorgeous stuff done with nude um, acrylic on top of nude nails. Just like nude roses on a nude nail. Oh, gorgeous. Um, 003. Maybe a hot pink. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Um, 010. Blue. Mm, navy blue, maybe? I'm having a hard time telling. Yeah, that's like a yeah, like a dark blue. Zero zero seven looks like a green. Ooh, wow! <laughs> I did not expect that. Judging by the lid, you would think it's just a standard like leaf green, but wow. Now, is that a bubble or is that something in it? Yep, that's something in it. Okay, let's get you out of there. Okay, wipe. I guess I could have been swatching these as we go. Um, zero, zero, 009, brown maybe? Yep, brown. These lids do not want to go back on there straight. Uh, zero, zero, 004, yellow. Nice, just standard yellow, not like neon or anything. Zero, zero, 001, red, I'm thinking. Yep, just standard red. Um, zero, zero, 002, light pink. Well, not super light. I wonder how that compares to the other pink. Okay. A lighter blue. Oh, that's pretty. That is really pretty. And last one, 006. Looks like purple. Must be a dark purple. Goodness. Okay, so what I want to do is get a small little ball of each of these and put it on top of the lid and cure it on the lid so you know just for reference when I look at them so I can easily tell what they're gonna look like let me do that and then we'll be back to discuss everything okay so I got them all little color swatch on top I put them in numerical order this time I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason to that but I thought it might have been rainbow order. It kind of is, but uh, but um, yeah, they they 
they dry with uh, no tacky layer, so it's not going to be a problem using them for 3D work on top of, you know, whatever. The, they have a shine to them. I don't know if that's coming across on camera, but they have a little bit of a shine to them. I was hoping that they would dry completely matte. But I guess with a very thin uh, application of a, a matte top coat, if you really wanted them to be matte, you, you could get them there. But, I mean, it's not super shiny. It's not like a, you know, a, a top coat shine. It's just, you know, there's a little bit of a sheen to them. Uh, I, I am a little disappointed they only came in a bag. I thought they were going to be in, like, a hard plastic case, but, oh well. Um, I was looking at the back of this a little bit as they were curing. Um, it does, if anybody is interested, there's ingredient information for you. Um, manufacturer, manufacturer's address, uh, manufactured, ten, oh, I guess the, <laughs> I always forget that the U.S. does their dating different, so, 10th day, 5th month of this year, uh, batch number, I mean, this, this has got a lot more information on it than you usually get on this kind of stuff from China. Um, let's see. I don't see anything about curing time. I just cured these for 60 seconds. Uh, function, used for nail styling. Uh, nope. No cure time as far as I see, but... Like I said, 60 seconds is what I used, and they, they all came out fine. So, uh, one thing I do want to say about this stuff, and this is where I'm going to get on my soapbox again. Y'all, don't be using this kind of stuff with your bare skin, please. I know you'll see people doing it in videos all over the place, picking this stuff out and rolling it in their fingers, and then, you know, use gloves or, like, those these little things that I got, little finger cots, something tools just don't don't get any kind of uncured gel on your skin because and, and i know you'll hear people say well i've used it a hundred times and i've never had a problem you might at some point you might get it the first time you touch it uh once you have a gel allergy you have a gel allergy that that's it so yeah from from what i've heard it's not a fun thing to have so, yeah, please, just use, use, use your brains, people. Don't be using this stuff with your, just, con you know, bare skin. Ugh. So, yeah, anyway, now that I'm done with my preachy part, um, yeah, these colors are, I like them. Uh, the purple is, I mean, it is, okay. So, yeah, that is, no, that's the navy, actually. Okay, so navy, black, purple. They all look almost the same. But, I guess, you know what, we'll just go ahead and do it right now. Um, I'm going to use my white that I already have open. Just to see, get me a little something out here to lay this stuff on. We'll go ahead and, I know you can mix them. Like you would any, you know, nail products. So, let's go ahead and do a little mixing and see what this turns out to look like. A little lightened up, okay? Okay, so, I don't know if it's going to come across on camera. Purple, blue. Okay, this is the original blue. So, I lightened it up somewhat. This is the original purple. Lighten it up somewhat. Um, it was definitely not a half and half mix, even to get it to this. It was like uh, two parts white, one part of the darker color. So that dark, pim dark pigment in these is it, it is it is intense. Um, but yeah, you can do it. It's it's it took me a minute. And this one's still a little marbly. But, I mean, yeah, you can mix them. So, 
you know, take use that information however you want to use that information. But they, they can be mixed. And they can be marble. They can, you know, they can be ombre together. You know, you can do all kinds of stuff with these things. I've seen some people do some really gorgeous 3D work uh, with different colors, mixing them together and, and you know, doing multicolored roses and stuff. So, yeah, all in all, good little kit. Really glad I got it. Uh, I hope to work on my technique and start doing some 3D work, hopefully soon. <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll see. But yeah, so um, yeah, that that's what we had this haul. This is the thing I was excited about. So I'm glad I got it. Um, Y'all let me know what you think. Let me know if you have this kind of stuff, any kind of uh, 3D gel. If you have any tips for using it, please let me know. I would appreciate it. I already I have this little silicone tools, um, and I don't see any of them here. After I, yeah, after I reorganized, now I can't find anything. I have a whole set of these, so you know I have the little silicone tools to help me out a little bit and brush and you know. So yeah, if you have any tips, please let me know. I would appreciate it. Um, and that's it. Thanks you all for stopping by again. Uh, next video, I hope to be doing a new set of nails. I haven't quite decided on myself. Um, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do yet, but y'all know it's going to have glitter in it. So, uh, if you have any requests, anything you want to see, leave me a comment. Uh, before you leave leave me a like. I would really, really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, let me know. Uh, leave me a comment and subscribe if you want to know when I post my next video. Other than that, I will see y'all next time. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.